Today's Talk to Eddie topic is the Head of Technical Analyses and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. Morning to you, Eddie. Good morning. Right, let's kick off with the Mexican peso. Um, what's going on here? A great sideways market. It's actually great if you want to do options in this. You've got the medium moving average is acting as resistance. That's 189369 at the moment. Uh, and you've got the long moving average underneath the market, 184649, which is holding up the market. And in the middle, you've got the Fibonacci level, the 50% Fibonacci level, and that's trailing around 186747. So 1867 is where it wants to be. It doesn't want to go above 1894. It doesn't want to go below 1846. But there's this pattern, this potential for this huge head and shoulders there, which is stretching all the way back from September. I'm not calling it yet because I'd like, like to see what happens when it gets down to 1846, if it does so again. Understood. OK, let's move on to the real, the Brazilian real. The medium moving average is the one that's holding this market down. It's actually being pushed more and more down, but it's not really going down. And then at the same time, you see a pipe bottom uh, last two days and it's gone back up again. The key feature there is a few uh, weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, we had a crossover of moving averages. That's when we have three moving averages come together and yep. come apart. Okay. It's called a, a bow tie formation. It's not in the perfect order. It should be either low, medium, high, or vice versa, and yep. then coming out the opposite way. But it hasn't gone in that way. So where is it? What's it doing now? We will know between the 19th and 26th. That's when it should kick in. It usually kicks in between 15 to 20 days after they cross over. So I don't actually anticipate there'll be lots of false moves until between the, let's say, so the 19th to 26th. Understood. Okay, let's wrap up with the Indian rupee. Downtrend line. That's holding the market down. It's, it's been bouncing up because of the, 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 the situations that's been happening um, in India with the banks. And that's holding the market down. Simple as that. T resistance. Yeah. Eddie, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.